hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to see the derivation for the simple harmonic progressive wave so first of all let's see what is a simple harmonic progressive wave simple harmonic progressive wave is nothing but the sine wave which is moving continuously in one direction so this is our y axis and this is our x axis and in the previous video we have seen that this distance is nothing but the wavelength and it is sig signified by the symbol lambda let's consider this point to be o a and b now this simple harmonic progressive wave is given by a simple equation which is nothing but y is equals to a sin omega t so this is the representation of this simple harmonic wave by this equation y is equals to a sin omega t where y is nothing but the y axis and a is nothing but this amplitude of the wave and omega is the angular velocity and t is the time taken now suppose we have a wave which is starting from this point say c now this wave which is starting from the point c is lagging by a phase and certain phase angle because this wave has started early and this wave is starting late so this phase this wave is lagging by the phase of this wave by this much so this phase this much phase of the wave is already cover, covered by the previous wave and after covering this much phase the second wave the another wave is started so let's consider this distance to be x so another wave is, has started from a distance of x now we all know that lambda c corresponds to 2 pi so one lambda that is the wavelength of one lambda has to go undergo 2 pi phase difference therefore x will go let's assume it to be delta now how to find the value of this delta is delta is nothing but equal to some simply by cross multiplying 2 pi x upon lambda now since this was the earlier equation of our first wave the equation of the second wave will be given by y is equals to a sin omega t minus delta because it is lagging by a phase difference of delta now substitute in the value of the delta therefore y is nothing but equals to a sin omega t minus 2 pi x upon lambda now we all know that the formula for omega is nothing but equals to 2 pi upon t therefore substituting the formula for omega in this equation we get y is equals to a sine instead of omega we are writing 2 pi t okay into t minus 2 pi x upon lambda so here this t is the time period of the wave and this t is the total time taken which we are considering taking 2 pi common we get therefore a y is nothing but equals to a sin 2 pi t upon t minus x upon lambda now this is the equation which we usually use while solving the numericals now here we can again modify this equation frequency is nothing but 1 upon t therefore instead of 1 upon t let's write over there n therefore y is nothing but equals to a sin 2 pi n t minus x upon lambda multiplying the, the numerator and denominator with n we get is y is nothing but a sin 2 pi and t minus nx upon n lambda 
now let's take n common therefore y is nothing but equals to a sin 2 pi n t minus x upon lambda now again we can further on simplify this equation by we all know that the formula for velocity of the wave is v is equals to n lambda therefore instead of n lambda we can write simply v therefore y is nothing but equals to a sin 2 pi n t minus x upon v now the value for the omega is 2 pi upon t which we have seen over here but we all know that n is equals to 1 upon t so instead of 1 upon t let's write omega is nothing but equal to 2 pi n and we can sim again further on simplify this equation by substituting the value of 2 pi n as omega so we get y is nothing but equals to a sin omega t minus x upon v now let's multiply this equation with numerator v and also denominator let's write v therefore we get as y is equals to a sin omega vt upon v minus x upon v we have simply multiplied v in the numerator and in the denominator okay now let's take 1 upon v common we get a sin omega upon v t v t minus x so this is the final simplified version of the wave which lags by the phase difference of delta and a part difference of x thanks for watching the video please do subscribe to the channel and in the playlist you all will find all the videos of 11th and 12th science and also engineering